Hello friends, my name is Ram Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is brainstorming. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in uh, in uh, in the terms of brainstorming that how you can do it. So let's uh, start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Friend, brainstorming is a method of uh, generating ideas and sharing knowledge to solve a particular commercial or technical problem in which participants are encouraged to think without interruption brainstorming is a group activity where each participant shares their ideas as soon as they come to mind at the conclusion of the session ideas are categorized and ranked for follow on action when planning a brainstorming session it is important to define clearly the topic to be addressed a topic which is too specific can constrict thinking while an ill uh, defined topic which will not generate enough directly applicable ideas the composition of the brainstorming group is important too it should include people linked directly with the subject as well as those who can contribute uh, novel and unexpected ideas it can comprise staff from inside or outside the organization to ensure a production session and one to which all present contribute there are several brainstorming rules encourage novel and innovative ideas however odd they may first appear the quantity of ideas is more important than quality so while ideas are shared with the group they are not discussed or criticized in detail this is reserved for a later stage build on the ideas put forward by others every person and every idea has equal worth each idea generated belongs to the group rather than the individual who thought of it a brainstorming session is led by a facilitator who introduces the topic and the above rules the group then begins to generate and share ideas these are recorded on whiteboards flip car uh, flip charts post it notes etc this section of the meeting usually lasts no longer than 30 or 40 minutes the ideas are then categorized and ranked by the group follow up actions are agreed and the meeting closes subsequently the ideas should be captured more formally and circulated to the group for review electronic mind maps are particularly useful here as they aid visualization of how the ideas interrelate once categorized and mapped the ideas are more easily evaluated and prioritized for action brainstorming is often touted as a group great technique that business professionals can use to generate new and unique ideas it is a term that's thrown around quite a bit and is often used interchangeably with other problem solving and ideas generation techniques brainstorming has become part of our daily uh, uh, lexicon in business and with good reason but what is brainstorming and why is it an important technique for business professionals in a nutshell brainstorming is one of the most creative ways of problem solving in which we work on ideas we can either come up with a new idea or build on an existing idea as well since there is no rule of thumb in brainstorming it can be applied individually or in a group Firstly a goal is defined to understand what the main purpose of brainstorming is once we have an end goal to achieve or a problem to solve various challenges that come along are explored furthermore different aspects of the problem or situation are explored and we list down ways to overcome the challenges there is no structure in brainstorming and no idea is considered wrong all ideas are noted during the brainstorming sessions and some can even be clubbed together now what is the main purpose of brainstorming now when you know what does brainstorming means so let's discuss about more in detail friend uh, 
basically the concept of brainstorming was developed by Alex Fakney Osborne in 1942 while working in his advertising firm uh, the goal of brainstorming was to come up with new ideas without criticizing any thought so its main purpose is to solve a problem creatively or innovatively Brainstorming also emphasizes or improving our ideation process and elevates the creative thinking of individuals. One of the major objectives of brainstorming is to withhold criticism and welcome all sorts of ideas to the table. Idea association is another objective of brainstorming as it encourages us to club ideas or work on existing ideas. Lastly, it believes in getting a brand new perspective towards a problem that can introduce tons of new ideas for it. Now, what are the benefits of brainstorming? Uh, friend, it helps us break the monotonous way of problem solving and gives a new perspective to the same situation. Since brainstorming works in all ways, it focuses on different ideas to provide a holistic solution. Students are often taught to do brainstorming and it encourages self-learning and better understanding. It is also an extremely beneficial tool to improve teamwork and to get ideas of an entire group together. When it comes to list building or fixing a deadlock, brainstorming helps a lot by getting the input of a group. As there are no right or wrong rules in brainstorming, people from different domains can do it without any technical issues so now uh, we can uh, there are some types of uh, brainstorming as well so first one is the analytics brainstorming in this we analyze the present situation from a different perspective and mostly use tools to assist on mind mapping reverse brainstorming SWOT analysis five wires gap filling and diverse analysis are some of its major subtypes quite brainstorming this is mostly done when people uh, when members are not able to meet so that they can share their ideas in the best possible solution via collaborative brainstorming brain netting slip writing etc role play brainstorming uh, in this we intentionally think from the perspective of someone else like customers or competitors, reverse thinking, role storming or figure storming are some of its major instances. Drawbacks of brainstorming in groups. Some members are never get a chance to speak up and put their ideas at the table. The session get too chaotic leading to inclusive results. Group sessions can be intimidating for those who work better alone. There is a chance that you uh, stray off the topic, wasting both time and effort. These sessions are informal usually without an agenda which can be uh, detrimental as members may not know what's expected of them actually. So uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you.